Hey everybody, Spirit of the Law here. Thanks to Orkan for that intro, and don't forget that you can make intro videos and send them my way. They just might make an appearance. So today I'm going to be doing a classic Spirit math video. There's going to be graphs, there's going to be equations, tables, and all those great things that fill the math-shaped hole in your heart. This is also going to lay some groundwork for my Viking Civ overview, and their big eco bonus is that Vikings get free wheelbarrow and handcart as they age up which I wasn't really sure how to start putting that bonus into perspective without getting a better idea of how good these techs are to begin with. So we're going to take a look at those techs in this video. I would even say one of the most common questions I get on the channel is people asking when to research wheelbarrow and handcart. And there's other instances of this question being posted online with some wildly varying responses. A lot of people are hesitant to tackle it head on, which is fair enough, and give the old, well it depends, answer. But I was horrified to see someone suggest they wouldn't rely on math to decide when to get wheelbarrow. What would you rely on, the force? You just let go and let your instincts guide you? There's a better way guys, at least let's give it a shot, academia style. Now let's take a look at the peer reviewed literature on the internet, or in other words, the Age of Empires discussion boards. I'd say they're reviewed by peers, aren't they? It's interesting how many different approaches there are to answering it, and people go at it through a specific villager count, usually 30 from the sources I found, the in-game time, 23 minutes being the most popular specific number to appear, the number of town centers, whether 3 or 4, or by specific age, either just before going up to castle or just after. Now I realize there's a lot of factors going into play about when to get it, and your economy doesn't exist in isolation, but I'd like to try to go about finding the optimal point from a mathematical point of view. There's probably something to be said for each of these methods, and they're all trying to get at the same thing. Of the methods, I think the number of villagers makes the most sense for me for my test, since when to get it from my point of view comes down to the point that getting wheelbarrow gives you a faster collection rate than adding extra villagers. Okay, so now that we have a game plan, let's start off our investigation into Wheelbarrow by figuring out how good villagers are at gathering with and without it. I've assumed that you have the feudal ecotext researched, and I set up a hypothetical town with 7 gold miners on one camp, 13 lumberjacks on two camps, just a bit of a ways from the tree line, and 10 farmers around your town center and mill. I let the town run for 5 minutes twice, once without Wheelbarrow and once with Wheelbarrow. I then found the total resources collected and divided it by the number of villagers on the resource, and here are the resulting collection rates per villager per minute. You might remember I did a test on collection rate in my sustaining fuel age production video, so I've included those for comparison. The lumberjacks and mines in the previous video were much more optimal, and the food rate included reseeding of the farm, but still the numbers are pretty close. For this video I'm going to use the new numbers. Here are the relationships graphed with the increase in efficiency shown as a percent. Notice how much higher the increase is for farms than for wood and gold. That's going to make things tricky, and it would be a lot more straightforward if it was a flat 10% increase across the board, for example. Rather than looking at it like an overall villager increase, it makes more sense to look at it as more of a farm collection upgrade, to be honest. We could attach context around the effect size by saying it's like increasing your number of farmers by one for every seven you already have. One more thing we have to take into account as well is that Wheelbarrow takes 75 seconds to research and Villagers take 25 seconds to create. That means you can make 3 Villagers in a row during the time it takes to get Wheelbarrow. Ok now let's try to model the payoff point and get a definitive answer. Let's start with this simple formula that's described in a relationship. Very simply we want to know when increasing their collection rate leads to the same overall collection as increasing the numbers by 3. Let's ignore wood and gold for the moment since their effect is quite small and we'll just pretend that wheelbarrow only gives you a 13.6% increase in food collection rate. Assuming we're looking just at farmers for our variable, that would suggest that you need 22 farmers before getting wheelbarrow is better than getting 3 more villagers. Ok, so one measure might say wait until you have more than 22 farmers. We can probably do a bit better than that though, since we're ignoring its positive effects on lumberjacks and miners entirely at this point, and a 3% increase isn't a lot, but it's better than zero. Why don't we try a bit more complex formula and see what happens. So now instead of being our number of farmers, x is going to be our total villager number. I'm going to try to capture a realistic distribution of villagers now. 
I'm not just going to do this off the top of my head because the results that we get in the end are only going to be as good as the data we put in. Instead, I'm going to look at a few recorded games to get an idea of how villagers tend to be distributed. The first one is a game that I played with some other intermediate level players, maybe 1600 to 1700 on Steam. At 23 minutes, you can see our distributions of villagers here, and it seems like it's about 30% farmers, 40% lumberjacks, and 20% miners overall. Now we'll look at a higher level 1 vs 1 game on Voobly. We have similar numbers overall, with still around 30% farmers, just under 40% lumberjacks, and 20% miners. Now we'll look at one more, a mix of two very high ranked Voobly players against three pretty good players. In this game, it was about 40% farmers, 35% lumberjacks, and again about 20% miners. The overall across all of these 12 players at 23 minutes was 34% farmers, 37% lumberjacks, and 20% miners. The rest were mostly idle villagers and builders. Well that gives us enough now that we can take a shot at a formula that should work half decent for players at a variety of skill levels, instead of just focusing on one player style, which you all know that I hate to do and I avoid wherever possible. Here's what the formula looks like. Just to explain the formula a bit for those that are curious, x is the total number of villagers, and the three terms separated by plus signs on each side are the three resources, and the proportion of the total villager is there, and the resources associate collection rate with wheelbarrow on the left, and on the right I have the same thing but without wheelbarrow, and I added three extra to x. This represents the trade-off of the faster collection rate on the left, and the greater number of villagers on the right with the slower collection rate. The magic number I get in this case is 46.1. We should interpret this by always rounding up, as a population of 47 is the earliest that wheelbarrow is the better option. Just to check how important our assumption was, I did it as well with 40% farmers, 40% lumberjacks, and 20% miners, which assumes that you're getting all of your villagers down to work at all times, and that gives us 44.23. So changing the assumption a bit just moves the villager number up and down only a small amount. Just for my own curiosity's sake, assuming 34% of those 47 villagers are farming, that's 16 farmers. So I'd use that number rather than the 22 I mentioned a few minutes ago as the signal to get wheelbarrow. The reason for the jump down from 22 is that now we're taking the 3% wood and gold bonus into account, so you don't need as many farmers for it to be paying off. Great, so there you go, it's 45 or 46 villagers, maybe plus or minus 2 depending on how farm heavy you are. Also don't forget that this is villager population, so if you have 10 military units, you're waiting until your total population is showing 55 or 56. Also for curiosity's sake, let's see if it's even a big deal if you got it too early. At 24 villagers, if you got wheelbarrow instead of 3 villagers, you'd be missing out on about 29 resources per minute. That's a bit more than a skirmisher every 2 minutes until you're up to above 46 villagers. It's not a huge mistake to make, but it is certainly tangible. If you got wheelbarrow at 30 villagers instead of 3 more villagers, that decision is costing you about 21 resources a minute. I hope that helps put it into perspective. We're talking about a fairly modest penalty to jumping the gun here. You may even find this trade-off in efficiency is worth it to you for the increase in villager speed, or if you get housed and want to keep your town working. It's certainly defensible to get the upgrade earlier than the mathematically optimal point. Just to improve confidence in the results, I did a little test with a town of 45 villagers with wheelbarrow and compared it to a town with 48 villagers without wheelbarrow that had an extra villager on wood, food, and gold. I used the 40% farmers, 40% lumberjacks, 20% miners ratio in order to get whole numbers of villagers here. You can see the results there, and having wheelbarrow increase their overall collection efficiency by 7.8%, and having no wheelbarrow but adding three extra villagers there increased the overall collection by about 7.1%. I did the calculations here based on total resources and if we're comparing the total amounts collected between wheelbarrow and three extra villagers, it's about a 0.67% difference between them. The math did say that 45 should be in the right ballpark and a less than 1% difference over 5 minutes looks close enough for me to call it. I'm happy to recommend 46 in a real game situation with some builders and idle villagers based on math and on results. There's one more thing to take into account though. So far we're basically assuming this works like Age of Empires 3 home shipments and you get the options of an instantaneous free wheelbarrow upgrade behind door number 1 and an instantaneous 3 villagers behind door number 2. There's a problem with that. First of all, wheelbarrow costs more. 
It's 225 resources, 175 food, and 50 wood, whereas three villagers cost only 150 food. That's 75 extra resources lost into wheelbarrow. Adding even more to that, technically villagers are being created during the wheelbarrow research, and they could have gotten a bit of work in before a wheelbarrow finished. If they collected the wood immediately beside the town center, that adds up to 27 wood before wheelbarrow would have been finished. That means we're 102 resources behind if we get wheelbarrow, and it'll take a bit of time for our faster collection rate to make up for that. Those 102 resources take about 6 seconds for your 45 villagers to collect, so it's not a huge difference when we look at it that way, but remember it's a tech for a long term repayment and not a tech that immediately pays off. Your economy is, in fact, worse off for several minutes, as the faster collection rate has to first pay back for the wheelbarrow tech. So just to wrap up some of the main ideas here that I found, number one, the mathematically optimal point from a town center work rate point of view is 45 to 46 villagers if you have a pretty typical intermediate to pro level distribution. Earlier than that, and you would have been better off with three villagers than getting wheelbarrow. Number two, the wheelbarrow is primarily a boost to farming and has only a small effect on the rest of your economy. So if you're mostly fishing, it's not a priority as early. At 22 farms, it pays off just for the farms alone, with a boost to gold and wood being a bonus. Number three, wheelbarrow also has a hidden cost of about 100 resources in the short term. Number four, I wouldn't recommend getting wheelbarrow in the feudal age as part of your fast castle build. You'll probably have around 30 villagers at that point, and it'll be costing you about 20 resources per minute, as well as potential builders. Don't believe people who tell you it's more efficient to get wheelbarrow at 30 villagers than to make more, unless they can show you prettier graphs than mine. So that's all for this one. I hope that settles the question a bit. I know it's a bit of a shakeup from what people normally say, so I'm happy to revisit this down the road again once I hear your thoughts on it. For the next video, I'm going to look at handcart, which is a lot weirder. And believe it or not, the math says you should get handcart before wheelbarrow. Yeah, I know. I'll try to explain that one next time and show you what's going on there. It's kind of messed up. I plan to do both in the same video, but it was aiming to be way too long and getting really confusing, so I think it's easier to just split them up and let you digest this one first. I should have that done in the next couple of days, and then on to the Viking Civ overview. Take it easy guys, and I'll see you next time.